up? Are you okay? Hello, I'm here. Yeah, I can see you. What? You're being a really angsty teenager. You think it's a silence? I mean, I can cut it if you want. I mean, she's been she's just trying to be nice to you. Yeah, I know, which angers me, and this anger turns into guilt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you see, trigger, trigger guilt, trigger, trigger guilt. Okay, yeah, I can see like that sibling dynamic. Right? Yeah, that's exactly. You can do it again. Yeah. Hey, what's up? You okay? Hello, I'm here. Yeah, I can see you. I really can't stand this. Family dinner's gonna be overwhelming. Look, um, I appreciate you coming in to check on me, but I just need a moment to myself. I sorry, sorry, sorry. I just think it's really interesting how you're going with overwhelming, like overwhelming. You know, it like. Mm -hmm. I think what Lisa in that moment wanted for Anna to come in and to say, oh my God, Mama can be such a bitch, right? But you come in and you're like overwhelming this, overwhelming that, like it makes it seem like it's my fault. Yeah, I mean, we could add this later. Can we actually? Yeah. That's what we're just Yeah. Yeah. Hey, what's up? <coughs> you okay? Hello, I'm here. Yeah, I can see you. I really can't stand this. Well, family dinners can be overwhelming. Okay, um, I appreciate you coming in to check on me, but I just need a moment to myself. I know, but hey, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's not... It would be really nice to repeat that twice. Sure. Yeah. It's not that bad. Yeah. It's not that bad. We just spent two hours practically ignoring each... Um, and then I just go on a little bit of a spiel here as well. Do you know, like... Yeah, you know what? Teenagers go on these rounds, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay, wait. Did we actually not say that she wasn't a teenager? She's anymore? a teenager. No, but I think last time we spoke, we, we, we thought about making her t Lisa 20 and Anna 25. No, we spoke about it, we never made a final though. I guess 20 is like a kind of teenager, right? No, it's not. Um, okay, I can make that work. Um, I just, um, I think I just tap into this like residual younger sibling anger. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Should I try? Yeah, yeah, okay, go for it. Um, do you think it would actually make sense if we split it, so it's not like a monologue? What do you mean? So like, when Lisa goes, but you don't really understand, then Anna can say, um, why wouldn't I? And then you oh, so I stop there. Yes, yeah, so it's yeah. more like a, you know, we, we, we're sort of structuring Like they're having a conversation, yeah, exactly. it's like, I think Lisa is still warming up to it more than yeah. I'm so sorry, um, it's Lisa with a Z, like Lisa, you know? Lisa, not Lisa. 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 Saying it wrong. It's not Lisa. 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 Sorry, Lisa. 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 Okay. Lisa. But, I know you think I'm more fixating on this. I just, I'm worried that the audience is not going to be able to connect with my character, Lisa, if they think she's a spoiled brat. Okay, um, <laughs> <laughs> would it make any difference if Anna addressed this? Like, um, I don't know, hey, if you hate it so much, maybe you should move out. Yeah, can you try Like Anna. So, yeah, can yeah. you write that down? Okay. Yeah, okay. Um, what should she say? Um, if it's so unbearable for you. Then why don't you? Um, can you try the full line so I can no, wait, 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 wait. If it's unbearable for you, then why don't you uh, maybe live with your friends or? No, sorry, because now you're giving solutions. Yeah, but your best bet as an older sibling is to give solutions. You, there is a problem, right? Um, sometimes people don't want the solutions; they just want to be sympathised with. That's not very helpful in the long run. Yes, it is. It's like really nice to feel heard. Okay, listen. Lisa's objective in this moment in the scene is to get you to stay and her older sister Anna to like you know sympathize with her and be angry with her and sad with her not just to solve yeah. her issues because she can't right yeah but okay but how many times have they had this conversation and how long can this talking and listening go on for it's like how we treat art these days like especially theater you know if there's a show about some sort of injustice right like be it um, politics related or uh, gender related or feminism or uh, war related, right? We as creators, we feel good about coming together to start a conversation or touch upon topics. When in reality, all that ends up happening is just a room full of people feeling good about themselves who participating in narratives that enforce an already pre-agreed thought without actually offering anything new. This line, I mean, people don't really talk like this, yeah, but okay. It just, it just sounds very um, Yeah, like, okay, like we all know that war is bad, we all know that trans rights are human rights, we all know that patriarchy should be dismantled, right? Mm -hmm. But does putting on a play about it change anything? I'd rather be an orphan. Don't say that. Look, I hear you and it's valid. I promise I know what it feels like and I am on your side, but I think you are projecting a lot of your inner um, No, I'm not projecting anything, I'm just taking a break 
from being around people who constantly terrorize my existence. And I really appreciate you being here, but I didn't ask for a free therapy session for my it's sister. It's not what I'm doing here. You're just saying really hurtful things, which I'm sure you don't actually mean. Look, I know she's a lot, and you know I also didn't have it easy with her, but I don't think I'd take not having a mother at all over having her. I would. I know how she treats you, and I believe you. But every time I had to sneak you back into the flat and let you stay in my bed when she locked you out of the house because you wouldn't let her sleep, I felt the same frustration towards her. However, I've always realized that there's not much we can do to change her behavior. When you can't alter the circumstances you're in, the only thing you have control over is your attitude towards it. Because... Because if your argument is based on past experiences and uh, lack of free will, then why does the mom get to stay the same and Lisa has to change? Yes, okay, uh, I don't know why, but uh, because the mom possibly, uh, the mom didn't have an older sister, because the mom didn't have therapy, the mom didn't have work friends that could support her, because uh, Lisa is having the conversation now with Anna, and this is making... Uh, this is becoming part of the chain of actions, part of the chain of causes. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's address it then. Human and that's actually right. We just spent like forty minutes trying to convince everyone that your mother isn't a bad person and that she just like who she is. And I just I'm saying this words because you've written those things down, like they're like burning through the. I just think if you really don't think your mum had any control over her actions and she just deterministically was the way she is, then why does the script still sound like you do? And with Lisa and Anna, um, yeah, I guess, I guess you're right again. Um, I've not fully come about to like, forgiving her fully. Um, I am with Lisa. I am with her a lot because she connects to that like anger in her, which is a great protective mechanism, which I never had, but she She's really good with this. But the thing that I learned from observing her is that being angry, she just continues being upset again and again and again, and I just really wanted to help her. And I felt like that thought, the idea that if you just accept that people do whatever they do and then they move on from it, it's just gonna help me, her, everyone. That's why I made this play. Um, so yeah, um, I, I'm very sorry that I which is through this. No, okay. And I'm sorry that I took all of you guys on this journey, which I guess was supposed to be just mine. Was supposed to just happen here. Um.